Hey everyone, I just want to quickly say before I start this video, thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers, that's mental. I can't believe I've hit it now after all these years of trying, and we, we did it. We did it, guys. And, um, yeah, here's to the next thousand subscribers or something like that. But, um, anyway, enough of me talking. Enjoy the video. It's a fun one. Enjoy. <laughs> What is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it's good to feel good and it's hit me at the fact that I haven't actually filmed a video here in my bedroom in about three weeks like literally it's been three weeks since I last filmed a video here in this bedroom and obviously I've been away in Los Angeles, I've been at VidCon, I've been doing my vlogs, filming videos out there and I haven't actually filmed a video, like literally it's been three weeks since I last filmed my last video here in my bedroom and now we're back and what not better to do than a first impressions video and last year I did a first impressions video for my time in Florida and obviously that was my first, you know, time in America and that was my first impressions on America and I thought, you know what, why not better to do my first impressions on Los Angeles and like just talk about what I thought of the place and also what I got up to and what I thought of that so yeah, let's get going with this. So I'm going to split this video up into three parts. So the first part is going to be what I thought of Los Angeles. The second part is going to be what I thought of VidCon. And the third part is going to be what I thought of Disneyland. So yeah, let's, let's get going. First things first, I'm not the realist. Los Angeles is a big city. I didn't realise how big of a city it was until like I was flying over. Like literally seeing it for the first time and I was like, Damn, that's bigger than I expected. And like, if imagine being in the center of Los Angeles, like to the west you will find ocean and to the east you will find just, you know, desert. And it's crazy, that is crazy. And like, like it's just basically a city stretched on, on, on like multiple freeways. Like a city stretched across multiple freeways. That's how I would describe it. And it just, it starts at one end and like goes all the way down to another end. And it's so bloody big. So hopefully if you go to Los Angeles, you won't get lost. Even though, I'd say Los Angeles, I was in Anaheim for most of my time, but there were so many bloody palm trees as well. Like there was one road I was walking down in Anaheim and thinking, damn, there are so many palm trees. Like if the mayor or whoever, you know, comes up with the names for these places, like roads and stuff, one of those roads should just be called Palm Tree Boulevard, like simple as that, because there's, there's so many bloody palm trees. I noticed that coming out of LAX, the traffic is mental, like literally, um, when I got into my pickup, I didn't realise how long it would take to actually get out of LAX, like coming back to LAX uh, on my um, day coming back, um, my, my driver told me how going into LAX, it's not too bad, but going out of LAX is bloody mental like I am um, coming out of LAX I remember just you know being in my pickup for a good half an hour until we actually got out of LAX because the traffic you know just get, just trying to get out everywhere it's like survival of the fittest basically and it's so hard to just get out of LAX so yeah mental LAX is mental Santa Monica is a beautiful place especially at night off the pier, off the Santa Monica Pier, the lights and the backdrop of the Pacific Ocean is just beautiful. And it is just one of those sights you need to see, especially at night. If you ever, you know, end up in Santa Monica during your time in Los Angeles, definitely recommend going to Santa Monica. in and out Burger is a fast food joint that you need to experience. Like, um, I only realised that there's only, you know, six states in the whole of the US that actually have in and out Burger, and they are California, which has the majority of them, Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and Texas. So, yeah, but I mean, again, in and out Burger, just one, it's one of those places you need to try. If you love, you know, if you know, if you love a good burger, I love a good burger, always would recommend in and out Burger for those going to Los Angeles, because there's quite a few around the Los Angeles area. So VidCon, like being at VidCon, it was again that that's an experience I really enjoyed. One of the one of the things I really loved about this trip was just the whole experience of going and you know being at VidCon. 
and it was so cool. Like, and the, also another thing I noticed was about the Anaheim Convention Center and how it was so big, like so spaced out and there's just so much room for activities. That's a Step Brothers reference if you didn't get that. And like there's so many, like there's so many booths around and like there's so much fun activities to be done. And, and during my time there I made the most of what, you know, was going on. There was like inflatables, um, there was like this, um, obstacle course like from American Ninja Warrior which I managed to do in about 10 seconds or something in fact here's a clip like that I'm playing here right now where I just completely nailed it I completely nailed the American Ninja Warrior course because I am that good at things I don't know the people who I met at VidCon were a very cool and funky bunch not like Marky Mark and his funky bunch but you know there were a, a cool you know, bunch of people to talk to. I think one of the people I really enjoyed talking to was Jeff, who is from the YouTube channel Road Warrior 360. In fact, I'll link it down in the description because he was a very nice guy to talk to. He told me about his experience of, you know, like just living on the road and how one year he lived homeless and uh, with the help of people, he managed to, you know, raise money and get a new van. And his story is quite inspirational. You know, it was fun talking to him, fun getting to know him and, you know, knowing how he's very closely associated with Louis and it was it was just fun talking to him really enjoyed you know talking to to um Jeff he's a, he's a cool dude and the meetups I went to they were very you know chill like just very chill they were um I got to meet Grace Helbig and she was I'm not gonna lie she is a very happy bunny that that's the best way of describing Grace Helbig and um, it was fun talking to her. She complimented, you know, my style. She also complimented my tattoos as well, which I liked. I remember she was like, are those real? And I was like, they are indeed. And then, yeah, we got some cool pictures. Um, and that, that was a cool one. And also I met Louis again, like the fun for Louis. And I've met him so many times throughout my years here on YouTube. But like, he's actually, every time I go to see Louis, he's actually a really cool dude to talk to. Like, it's fun, you know having conversations with him and then this time around um he like i showed well obviously i had my um live the adventure shirt on and then i showed him my um live the adventure tattoo which he which he saw like he actually saw it back in february well not for in person but i showed i took i put it put on instagram he saw it he liked it he commented on it and then him seeing it for the first time in person and then he also vlogged it and i was like wow he's vlogging it and then literally when i came back from los angeles the first thing i see or one of the first few things i see is a notification for one of louis videos and it's got live the adventure tattoo and i was like oh that that that's my tattoo that's that is my tattoo as the thumbnail and i was like holy crap that's that's my tattoo but yeah it was fun talking to him it was also fun you know i saw him again later at the party which i will talk about in a second and Again, talking about you know what he's up to because he was—he's obviously at the moment he's doing a road trip. Well, I think he's finished the road trip now, but he was doing a road trip up America, like the, you know the Pacific Coast, which I would very much like to do one day. That's one of the things I would very much like to do. If I if I go to America again next year, one of the things I would really like to do is a road trip. So, fingers crossed. All right. So this party that I went to was the Maker Studio party, and coincidentally, it was my first ever YouTube party as well, which is which is cool. Like I remember checking my emails like literally a month before VidCon, and then I see um, an invitation to the Maker Studio party. It was like, how, how, how? And I was like, I've definitely got RSVP. I'm definitely gotta go see what all the fuss is about. And I was like, I'm going. And I was like, you are official. You're on the guest list. And I'm like, oh, cool. I can't wait to be there. And being at this party, it was very cool. There were so many people there. Like, there were YouTubers there who was like, wow. I, I didn't expect them to be there, but you know, it was, I talked to a lot of cool people there. I talked to some YouTubers, you know, who I've met before, and you know, you know, talking, uh, uh, updating about what we're up to and stuff like that. And just you know, going back on like YouTubers, it was just like, because I'm not used to being around like so many YouTubers. I was like. It's too scared to go up to the people and say hi. I think a good example was when I saw literally Markiplier literally a few feet in front of me and I was like, that's Markiplier. 
and I was too scared to go say hi because, you know, he's there. He's got tens of millions of subscribers and I don't exactly want to say hi to him. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not reply. And like, one of the things I didn't do at the party was like, you know, um, film people I was with or take selfies with them because I was like, you know what, I'm going to take it chill. That's not what my plan is. I don't want to be that person at a party, you know, who just annoys people by just taking selfies all the time and, you know, filming people all the time. That That's not me. No, no, that's not me. Cut like a waste, man, that's not me. But, um, yeah, overall, the party, the atmosphere, the music, the, like, there was so much music going on, like, especially in, like, the disco area. There was, su there was such good vibes in there, I like that. I like, I like parties that have good vibes. And now on to Disneyland, which coincidentally was actually my first time at a Disneyland theme, theme park. Like, I've never been to one before. There's one literally across the channel in Paris, and I could, could have gone there multiple times, but... Well, why am I saying multiple times? I've never been to Paris before, but, you know, I wanted to, you know, experience Disneyland, because I was like, I, like, I've heard about it, I want to go there, so... Yeah, go to Disneyland, because why not? And also, of course, it was the VidCon Disney Day, so I was like, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. You can't go to VidCon and not go to Disney Day, so I'm glad I did. Speaking of VidCon, I also was hanging out on that day with some people that I met up at VidCon. So, Rebecca, my good friend for many years now, um, Amy, Amanda, Kaylee, Morgan, and then also Chase, who is a cool dude. And um, yeah, they, they were a cool bunch. We were now the funky bunch. Screw you, Mark Wahlberg. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It was fun to, you know, be hanging out with people that, you know, I, some of which I was meeting for the first time and, you know, just hanging out with them. It was very cool. I think my favourite ride at Disneyland was Space Mountain, or as it's currently known as Hyperspace Mountain, because I, what I really, what I didn't realise was going into um, Space Mountain was the fact that it had the Star Wars theme, because in Tomorrowland, where Star, um, where, um, Space Mountain is. I didn't realise there was a Star Wars theme there because obviously they're built. They're currently building the Star Wars land in Disneyland, and obviously Tomorrowland has you know a lot of Star Wars themes in it. I didn't realise how Space Mountain was now Star Wars themed, and it also kind of tied into the events of um, the Force Awakens, which is very cool, very cool, very cool that they've done that, and I liked it. What I really enjoyed was um, interacting with you know some of the characters. So. Um, I got to interact with Kylo Ren. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a clip from it because, you know, it's Kylo Ren. You don't want to piss him off. You know how mad Kylo Ren gets and how stroppy he gets. If you've not seen The Force Awakens, and you probably don't know what I mean. So go watch The Force Awakens if you haven't done already. Also, it was fun to interact with Chewbacca because a lot of people were pointing out how I'm nearly as tall as Chewie as well. And then he also took my um, camera hit and I was like, What's he doing? It's like he saw it, and I was like, I wonder what's going on with Chewie. I wonder what he's. I wonder why he's intrigued by my camera. But that that was fun. That was fun. Really enjoyed interacting with characters because it's a, that's one thing you need to do whenever you're at Disneyland. Like, it doesn't matter what the theme is of you know or who the characters are. You've always got to go to at least one character interaction. It's very very cool. Also, I really enjoyed the whole Paint the Night Parade and also the Disneyland Forever fireworks. Like, those were just, you know, because now the sun had set and it was fun to see the parade. The first, first of all, the parade was very cool, seeing all the characters and, you know, waving to everyone. It was very, it was very cool. I, don't, I have no other words to say other than cool, but it was very, very cool seeing all of this, all of that. It was very interesting. And then, of course, you know, the final little part of the night was the whole Disneyland Forever fireworks display, which it was awesome seeing all the fireworks. And obviously, currently, Disneyland are still celebrating the um, 60th anniversary, which I think is mental how Disneyland has been going for more than 60 years and it's still going today. That's, that is very cool. And um, just seeing all the fireworks and that and how it was Walt Disney's vision to, you know, create Disneyland and just, you know, see it's still going today. And then after the firework display finished, I actually then had to say goodbye to everyone because, you know, it was that time. It was like, I think once I said goodbye to everyone and once the firework display had finished, I think that was the sign that, you know, my time here was over. And then because of that, I actually ended up breaking down in tears. Now, I'm not usually the person who actually gets emotional and this was a, one of those rare occurrences where I actually do. And it's just like saying goodbye to everyone, seeing the fireworks, just, you know, just having a great day. And it just, it just made me break down in tears because I was just like, 
just I, I couldn't get over it like literally just walking out of Disneyland I was just I just felt a tear in my eye and I just I couldn't hold my, hold it in so I cried I cried because I just needed to let it out but honestly I did have a great time you know just hanging out with you know my group of friends that I was with and you know just just basically the whole week there that I had in LA at VidCon at Disneyland that day it was it was amazing it was really amazing and then I think one of the most depressing parts of this whole trip was just you know going back to LAX because you know it was you know it was time to say goodbye well I've already said my goodbyes to people but you know saying goodbye to Los Angeles as a whole because my time there was a great one I, unfortunately I'm really sad that you know it was only a short time there but I'm hoping fingers crossed that if you know hopefully next year I can go back to LA and experience it all again because I really I really did have a good time and I really do want to experience it again hopefully next year and go to VidCon again and I want to stay longer next time and you know do some more stuff maybe venture out you know to somewhere else I really wouldn't mind next year trying out San Francisco and seeing what San Francisco is like so fingers crossed but you know I can start doing this and go to LA and San Francisco and all that and do some kind of fun experience hopefully longer than a week though so fingers crossed fingers crossed you never know what could happen in one year anyway that is my first impressions on Los Angeles on VidCon on Disneyland and honestly they those were some fun times and if you've ever been to Los Angeles or to VidCon or to Disneyland before and you you know or maybe it's your first time recently tell me some things in the comments below like what you really enjoyed about these things or you know what you got up to just just let me know in the comments below because that's what I'd like to know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you around again soon with some more videos and like, comment, subscribe and share the love. See ya!